I'm Marianne Jackson, the Division Director of Infectious Diseases, and this is my partner, Dr. Chris Harrison, uh, from the Infectious Disease Division at Children's Mercy Hospital, and we're going to talk to you today about measles. Chris, in our community, if parents haven't heard about it, they're going to hear soon about a measles outbreak in our community. What do they need to know about contagiousness of measles and what they can do to keep their child safe? Well, one of the things to know about measles is it is one of the most contagious diseases. It's six times more contagious than influenza, and you all have experience with influenza, I suspect. And that the main thing of comfort for most families is if you and your children went in and got your one-year shots, the MMR, at 12 months of age, your child is at very low risk even if exposed. It's the babies who are under 12 months of age, people's immune systems who don't do well, or people who didn't get their vaccine that need to be worried about exposure. I think it's important too to remember that while we have measles in our own community, that children are at very high risk for measles if they tra travel internationally. And in those cases, children can start their measles vaccine at six months if they're leaving the country. And I think that's important to talk to pediatricians about before you get to the pediatrician office, they need to know you're going to be traveling because there are things besides the measles vaccine that they'll wanna address there also. In terms of measles in our community, are there important things regarding clusters of ch children who may be under immunized that may be important for parents to know? Well, I, I think the daycare is one of the areas of focus in that there are groups of children who are under one year of age who've never had the vaccine. And if measles gets into that mini community, that's where it will spread the fastest. So I think one of the things you can ask if your child does go to daycare is, what percent of children at my child's daycare are fully adherent with vaccines? And particularly now at this point with measles, mumps, rubella vaccine. This is a question that you can certainly ask your daycare provider and ask your pediatrician for more information about.